Hey, hey, beautiful babes. Welcome back into Sugar Fingers, your girl, sweet angel. Yes, you caught me in the bathroom. And y'all, for weeks, can you believe it's been a few weeks since I colored my hair? Today, that has to change. I tried to see just how many gray hairs I have ah, been blessed with, okay? So, I noticed I do have some, but you know, not a full head of gray hair because, you know, my roots are still pretty, pretty black, pretty whatever color my hair is actually. But you know, today is hair coloring day and I'm going to do that today. So y'all know how I started the process with my castor oil. Oh yeah, you gotta have your castor oil first of all. Mm -hmm. Now in here is just the SVA Organics castor oil in here, but you know, it's just easier to go ahead and squirt it out instead of the glass bottle and put it in my hair. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. First of all, to coat my hair so it won't over process, to also take care of and coat my edges and protect my ears and all of that good stuff. So that's why I use it. Do this first. Oh, that feels so, so good. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, honey. And now that that's done and settling in, I go ahead and mix up my products. Yes, I had to disrobe, okay? So here's all of my goodies right here. You know, well, you know, I keep my MTBW2 container. This is just where I mix my goodies up in here so that I don't waste any bowls and so forth and I can keep everything handy. My huge container of BW2. This is the de-dusted extra strength powder lightener all right and it comes with a scoop so i'm just going to put two scoops in okay we're going to make it three and then i have my number 50 developer here this is the cream peroxide and i just pour it in or you can use the cup to measure about three cups of it two to three cups of it i use my rat tail comb just to mix it up That's actually perfect, so I don't need to put any more in there. And I just simply apply it to the hair. Now you can use a brush, which I'm not good at that. You can use your fingers with gloves, and I'm not good at that. I just use my hands. Don't do it like me. Don't act like me. I'll start in the center, top of my head, and I work it to the back. I think the one thing that happened while my hair was not being color treated is that it grew a lot, <laughs> for sure. I think my hair sheds and grows pretty much simultaneously when I have the color in it. So, But I do try to keep it conditioned and washed, moisturized every single day. I can't say I wash my hair every day. I do rinse it probably. Just don't like product build up on my hair. Just putting it all on and then I'll rinse my bowl out here. And I'm not going to put a plastic cap on today. I'm just going to, let's see how much it lives without it. And excuse me, it's pretty strong. So in case you didn't know, for me, this is super choking con. Okay, why have I been doing this for 16 years? I don't know. <laughs> okay, I think I've covered every inch of it. So I'm gonna let that sit for, I don't know, usually I don't think I leave mine on for 30 minutes, but I'm just gonna let it sit and I'll be back after that period. I may have already rinsed it out by then, depending on what goes on. Okay, we're gonna do it like that. And it excuse me cry, because it does make my eyes. It kind of burns, just not burn, but you know, more make my eyes water. Let's put it like that. Okay, so I'll see y'all in a few. All right, here we are, beautiful babes, with the hair color. This is what it looks like. I just got out the shower. Uh, let me go ahead and moisturize my face first. I am going to be using my Avon Anu Batel. I love this stuff. This has SPF of 25 in it. This is like my daytime serum that I love on my face. And here lately, that's been about all that I've been using, other than another SPF moisturizer, you know, the Daily Defense. I love this one here too, um, the Hydrofusion Daily 
beauty defense. It's, it has an SPF of 50, but probably not going outside. But I do like to use the SPF because y'all know, or if you didn't know, it will help lighten up these little dark spots. And I had a little pimple that is gone and left a little dark spot. So I like to use it on that kind of jazz. All right, that's done. And now let's get to this hair to go ahead and get it just up here. I make my own little cream with shea butter and my Cantu Shea Curl Activator Moisturizer. So that's what that is. And we're going to rub it in the hand and spread it lightly on the hair. Okay. Y'all, something new that I got. Let me try it out. I got this in one of my Sephora orders. This is, and I'll put it across the screen, the Bumble and Bumble Illuminated Blonde Tone Enhancing Leave-In. And excuse the nails, I'm gonna do them today again. All right. It's, of course, the purple tone that all of the toning stuff have to brighten up the hair, I guess. But we're gonna leave it in. I'll see. I've used it, but I just haven't used it on camera with y'all. I did one other time, so I know it's not gonna mess up nothing, but it did kind of brighten it up a little bit. Just a little bit. But anyway, I'll probably be um <laughs> Diluting that because I'm going to use my cream I make um, for my, you know, for my hair. The cream I make for my hair. Pumped a good heap of that in. Rub it in my hand and lightly drag it over and around and around and then I work it in. And then I put in my Grow Healthy, Soft and Free, Milk and Protein, Milk, Protein, and Olive Oil, okay? It's a mousse, like a wrap lotion, but of course I'm not wrapping anything, kind of, sort of not, but kind of, sort of is, but this helps to kind of get rid of the flyaways and frizz. And yes, for the most part, I can actually style my hair without even using a brush or a comb. But sometimes I do do a little bit of something, something like this, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And girl, she done. Just like that. I'm done with the hair. That's it. And now let me just finish up the rest of my end of shower routine <laughs> and I'll see y'all on the next one beautiful babes hope you enjoyed today's video just a little pop in of a piece of a beauty vlog but I'll see y'all on the next one you already know it in the meantime you keep your hair your face your hands and your feet looking gorgeous absolutely I'll see you on the next one